guys, Paulina here from Nothing in Physio and I'm working on a posterior chain strength. So posterior chain is everything at the back, so all your back muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings and your calves. So we're going to be working on those uh, primarily today and the exercise we're going to do now is called hip thrust. We're going to show you a couple of variations of how can you uh, progress or regress the exercise and you may or may not need some equipment for it. So first of all, you need something to lean against. So it may be that you do it against your sofa, armchair, or anything that you've got um, that's about the right height for you. And just to make it a bit more comfortable, you can pop some towels or a mat on top of it if you've got it. So what you do in the end is trying to get your shoulder blades, so the bottom of your shoulder blades against the top of the sofa or chair or whatever you're using. And starting in this position, you want your hands to be free. Um, so you should be really just using your back to lean against it. Then you walk your legs away a little bit and all you do is drop your hips down slowly and then you drive them up all the way up to the ceiling. So you get to this straight line and you feel like your glutes are working quite hard. You'll feel it lower down in your hamstrings and a little bit on your calf as well. And you slowly drive down and then explode up to get to this straight line position. So this is the version number one. So doing a double leg slowly on the way down on this eccentric contraction and then drive up on the concentric action. How to progress it? So you can change to do the same exercise on one leg. So one leg up, foot engaged, just little bend the knee, slowly down, and then drive up. Then again, slowly down, drive up. And if your heel is sliding, you can just obviously put something against uh, your foot, so to stop it, or what you can do is uh, maybe take your shoes off, depending on what surface you're doing it on. How to progress it further? So you can have some dumbbells on either side and you can use a resistance band. So the resistance bands, if you imagine it, will go across uh, your hips and you'll attach it on either side. So I'll show you how to do it. How I usually do it is just hook it underneath on either side. So got it nice and secure. If you want more tension on it, obviously just move the dumbbells further away to either side and try and put the band across the top of your hips. Make sure you're quite central so that you've got a, a pull evenly distributed across your hips and start in the same position. Walk your heels or your feet further away. You can see that there's tension on the band here. And as I drive my hips, it gives me this extra resistance and then I'm slowly dropping down and I drive up, slowly down, drive up, slowly down. To progress it further, you can either put another band on top, so just to have a bit of extra resistance, or simply progress this exercise to a single leg as well. So same position, band across your hips, start in this position here, hips down, drive up. It's a really tough exercise and if you can do this on single leg with one band on, you can double up on the bands, you can push this two dumbbells further away so you've got more tension on the band, just make sure that they're not stopping back and closing up in here and really good exercise for this eccentric and concentric action and what we can do is we can work on developing power for this exercise, we can work on developing strength, depending on your prescription, depending on the weight and the resistance that you're adding to it. So hope you enjoy, give it a try. And uh, we're posting some more videos like this soon, so click the subscribe button to stay on top of that.